Hi Virgo Seeker! Oh my god, I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome to your 2019 yearly tarot scope, rune scope, oracle scope, whatnot scope. So, as you already know, I pre shuffled, I focused, I meditated. I did not see the cards. Maybe a couple accidentally fell with their face up, but I've had them all face down. So this experience we're going through together. Okay, just a little bit of uh, Palo Santo. Clear the air. Breathe deep. Welcome in the year. We have, as you can see, 13 tarot as main significators for the months and for the conclusion. Two little tarots. Um, sorry, oof. <laughs> Hi there. Two little tarot for each month to um, to clarify, and a rune for each month, and of course for the thirteenth month, which is the um, total and the conclusion of, of the entire year. Um, okay, let's get to it. I just wanted to make it shorter than the uh, <laughs> than the general one on YouTube. Okay, all right. Um, January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Conclusion. Are we ready? Let's see what January holds. Okay. The first card for January is Five of Cups. You know what? Why don't I let you see it? This is the after tarot. They're beautiful. Five of Cups. And then as clarifiers, we have for career, Page of Wands, and for love, the Empress. Five of Cups, Page of Wands, the Empress. And the rune, yay, Tsigali Bay, the Gaz. Okay, you don't need to know what it means, I'm going to tell you. So, I mean, listen, I get it. Five of Cups, right? We've been there. Now the question is, what are we going to do about it? Because what's done is done. What we've lost, we've lost. What is no longer there is no longer there. And there's a reason why I have two threes and a five. Why am I saying two threes? Empress is three. Novice of Wands, aka Page of Wands, could signify December, um, could signify Sagittarius. Twelve for December is also three. There's the element of freedom. I'm, I'm giving you also the numerology, right? Three, three, and five. Those are number of freedom and communication. But there's a certain passage between what was, what we've lost, and can no longer communicate with, versus the potential of what we have coming in and we can communicate with. The focus needs to be of liberating ourselves from what didn't work out in December, right? December. Don't take 2018, most especially this month of December, with you to January. Don't dwell on it. That's the message. When the Empress is around, things are very benevolent, very fruitful. It's a very creative combination, the Empress and the Novice of Wands. It is adventurous but responsible. It is fun but safe. It's a mature way of enjoying life. And you have that all around you. You have wonderful opportunities in love, great new horizons in career. But if you will be busy on what you've lost and what you no longer have, instead of manifesting the creative aspect of you, the fruitful aspect of you, you will manifest the irresponsible, kind of likes to dwell, enjoy the suffering kind of aspect of you. 
And here we have the gaz. It couldn't be more perfect. The gaz signifies a new day, dawn. The gaz is dawn. It is very much, you know, waking up from the dark night of the soul into a new day. You have to step out of the Five of Cups. The land is fruitful and fertile. You don't want to miss out on, um, what's the word, putting in new seeds in your soil because you're busy dwelling and missing out on someone in your life that could be that Two of Cups, that could be that Empress. New Year's January is very, very new. The gaz is a brand new, different life. It's like, it, it, it's, um, it's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough. It's like when the sun reach, uh, kind of peaks from the clouds and be like, hi, I'm here. What is in the earth that I need to put my sun on and put heat on in order to allow it to grow? If the sun comes out and there's nothing in the earth, nothing will grow. So you have to be prepared for that. You have to be prepared for the benevolent energy that is coming your way. And do the work and do the action. Allow the energy to help you out. Imagine the road is being cleared for you, but you're busy sitting on a rock looking back. You won't be able to walk it. It's there for you to, to, to you know, Let's keep going. February. 